Welcome to Zoom TV, the show where we explore everything that flies, drives and floats and invite you along for the experience. Basically, we're going to give you more information so you can make a better purchasing decision. Well, today we're coming to you from the very chilly and very muddy Oakley motorcycle track. And on today's show, Alan's going to introduce you to the brand new member of the Hyundai family, the i30. It's a car built not down to a price, but up to a quality. We take you behind the scenes of our newest partner, City Subaru. You'll find the full range of 2014 Subarus, as well as premium quality, pre-owned cars. Kate McPherson goes back in time and jumps on board a vintage Tiger Moth and does some loops. <laughs> and why are we at the Oakley Motorcycle Club in Chile, Victoria? Well, we're catching up with our special guest and a Santa celebrity hitchhiker, Tim Coleman from Australia's Got Talent. That guy, crazy. Welcome to Zoom TV. Now, you met the man to my right briefly in the opener. You've also met him before on Australia's Got Talent. I'm now joined by Mr. Tim Coleman. How are you, sir? Yeah, good, thanks. Now, not a lot of people have actually met the guy behind the helmet, have they? <laughs> no, they haven't. I've always <laughs> got the helmet on. Now, um, people did meet you on Australia's Got Talent. You did tricks and all this kind of stuff. Yep. What is it that you actually, what do you call the style of, of a motorbiking that you do? Well, it's a new sort of concept. These Trolls bikes have been around for a long time, but we sort of, I like to bring a new aspect to it and do some tricks, like basically like a BMX, so you can throw them around. This bike, what is it? Well, this is a, a Beta. They're manufactured in um, Italy, so this is this is the factory edition, but it's straight out of the box and away it goes. So you don't have to do much to them at all. Okay. Now the style of um, biking that you do, tricks and stuff like that, that's actually been around for a little while, hasn't it? Yeah, it's been around for a little while. Um, not many people do it in Australia, so yeah, it's great. I still do the competitions and everything, so I'm loving this trick riding. Okay. Now before I get into exactly what happened at uh, Australia's Got Talent, how about for the people at home and for me, you show me exactly what you can do with this piece just around here. Sure, give it a go. I want to get out of the way and <laughs> let you get into it. Tell you what, that was crazy. Yeah. Just watching you from here, I'm like, you know, and the thing about it, I mean, I'll let you get your helmet off, but listen to listen to the accolades on the back. The thing about it, Tim, is you don't need much room, do you? No, that's the great thing about these bikes. You can do it anywhere, basically, in a car park or pull up anywhere and impress the public. When you approach one of these obstacles like here, what's going through your head? You just analyse it and you can realise you just know how much throttle to give it and everything, so you just hope for the best pretty much a lot of the times. Now, <laughs> now when was it that you knew you could do this with that? Well, I've been riding for like 15 years competing and I'm on the bike pretty much every day, so you slowly get better and better riding with better people and I've been overseas training with the best, so yeah, that definitely improves your riding. Now, Tim, you can actually flip one of these, can't you? Yeah, I can. <laughs> now, when do you actually get to the stage where you think to yourself, you know, I'm going to get on my bike and try and flip it. Well, yeah, that's the thing. Everybody loves a backflip, so I was getting a bit bored with the traditional style, so I wanted to mix it up and, yeah, started practising. Now, just going back to recent events, everyone at home that watched Australia's Got Talent would have met you and your crew on that. Yep. Tell us about that process. Well, yeah, I was riding for Flair Riders and uh, we worked on it a fair while and we ended up making to the semi-finals. We, we didn't rehearse it much at all, but it was a great experience. Everybody loved it, the judges, we got a standing ovation, and that was great. It's a shame we just couldn't get into the finals, but anyway. Well, you got really close. What I was yeah. impressed with is the stage wasn't very big, and some of the tricks you guys were doing, I mean, really, you would have just got there, had a day, and then yeah. done your tricks. Well, and... we didn't even have a day. We had, like, one rehearsal out in the car park, 
<laughs> and then straight into it, and it was so tight in there, it was really sketchy. <laughs> now, that's where you've taken your career now. You're actually um, going out there and you're an entertainer for hire now. Yeah, that's it. Like, I just started up my own company, so, it's, so I'm looking forward to that taking off and yeah. getting more shows. Mate, I know you're going to do a great job, I tell you. <laughs> Tim, I'll tell you what, how about I hang out with you for a while and uh, later in the show you'll be our Santa celebrity yeah. hitchhiker. Sure, I'd love to. All right, mate, I might be able to teach you a trick or two. <laughs> now, after the break, we catch up with Alan Simons as he experiences the all-new Hyundai i30. That's next on Zoom TV. Do you want to get more out of your diesel? Well, let the team at United Fuel Injection help you. They're the experts in diesel fuel injection, turbocharging and vehicle performance technologies. Make an appointment today and get more talk out of your diesel at unitedfuel.com.au. I've been banging on for years about just how good the Hyundai product is these days. From a time when not even the Koreans would drive their own national car to a new release being warmly received right around the world. And if you're looking at buying a Hyundai, this is a very good car to have a look at. This is the 2014 Hyundai i30 SE. It's a car built not down to a price, but up to a quality. It's a car that gives its competitors, and there are many of those, a real nudge. The Hyundai we have on loan today from John Hughes comes with a frugal 1.6 litre petrol engine. It has three doors. It is automatic and comes generously equipped with more standard features than its more established rivals. There's a lot more going on here than you'd notice at first glance. Of course it's economical. Sure, it has a six-speed automatic gearbox, alloy wheels and a rear spoiler. But look at what else you get for just $17,990 drive away. The equipment list places the i30 amongst the big players. It brings to the table Bluetooth phone connection, a USB port, front fog lights and electronic stability control. There's cruise control and air conditioning, six-speed auto, flex steer where you can choose three different steering modes and Hyundai auto door locking. You'll also find seven airbags. The Hyundai i30 SE provides comfort on two levels. The first, courtesy of its indoor space, which should easily deal with five adults and their baggage. There's also lots of little hidden nooks and crannies to store all those bits and pieces we need to take with us on journeys these days. And, of course, the boot. Plenty of space. It boasts 378 litres of storage. Not bad. The second place Hyundai i30 scores highly with me is its ability to isolate us from the outside world. The cabin is impressively quiet and the suspension irons out bumpy roads with no trouble at all. Folding the back seats down means cargo space swells to an impressive 1,316 litres just right for the more bulky items. And the glove box is even chilled by the car's air conditioning system. Hyundai just keeps getting better and better. And this Hyundai i30 SE packs a very big punch for a very small price. With this car, quality is what it's all about. Hyundai comes with a five-year unlimited kilometre warranty, three-year cap price servicing, and up to seven-year RAC roadside assistance. Go to johnhughes.com.au or follow the links from Zoom TV. Subaru made their first car in 1954, having spent the previous decade manufacturing aircraft. Well, things have changed, and now Subaru are known for their leading all-wheel drive technology. That, and producing simply one of the finest ranges of motor cars you're ever likely to see. And you can see them all right here at City Subaru. Australia took Subaru very much to heart with cars such as the Impreza, WRX and Forester and the only rear-wheel drive BRZ. They've earned the company a well-deserved reputation for reliability and performance. Subaru currently sells eight models in Australia, including the Liberty, Outback and Tribeca and is always in the top eight best-selling brands in this country. City Subaru is Perth's newest and premier Subaru dealership. Here, no fuss, professional customer service is a standard feature. And they're also very handy. They're on Albany Highway, just over the causeway and five minutes from the CBD. Oh, and they make pretty good coffee too. 
City Subaru Perth is recognised as an STI authorised Subaru dealer and is home to one of Perth's most experienced sales teams. When you visit, you'll find the full range of 2014 Subarus as well as premium quality pre-owned cars. There's also a modern and efficient service department, specialist Subaru parts department, finance and fleet buying facilities. So everything's here for you in the one location in the one dealership, including the full range of Subaru motor cars. There's everything from high performance cars like Rex here to crossovers. There's even luxury off-road vehicles and family sedans. At City Subaru, it's all for the driver. And when it's time to service your Subaru, or any other make or model car for that matter, City Subaru has that covered as well. City Subaru's Car Service Centre has a number of flexible options to ensure that servicing your car is never an inconvenience. They'll arrange a courtesy drop-off, pick-up or a loan car for the period of your service. As well as expert car servicing, they also carry out wheel alignment and brake services to ensure that your vehicle retains the highest level of on-road safety and driving performance. Their Subaru factory trained technicians will make sure your vehicle is well looked after and you can book online or over the phone. So Ben, these are a great range of motor cars, yeah? They certainly are. Subaru, they all come with the all-wheel drive technology. Fantastic looking car, very reliable, people love them. Well, look, they're quality, they look great, they really are the car. You drive the STI, what's that like? It's a fantastic car to drive. We should go for a drive later, actually. <laughs> Terrific. And have you got any specials coming up for end of financial year? We've got luxury models in the Forester the XV and also the Impreza and we've also got savings across the entire range of Subarus this month. Terrific, nice to talk to you. You too. City Subaru is all about great motor cars, great service and value for money. You'll find them at 137 to 165 Albany Highway, Victoria Park. Go to citysubaru.com.au or follow the links from Zoom TV. Coming up after the break, Kate Max going to take to the skies in a vintage Tiger Moth and Tim He's going to teach me how to do one of them. Not really. What a show off. That's next on Zoom TV. The Wright brothers, the Red Baron, Maverick and Goose. All important figures in aviation over the years. Well, except for maybe Goose. And now, thanks to the Royal Aero Club of WA, you might be able to add your name to that list with their vintage Tiger Moth flights. So if you can't face the idea of watching yet another DVD on the couch and would rather surround yourself in the romance of the skies, then this incredible and different experience is for you. The Royal Aero Club of WA runs the flights out of the Jancott Airport and you can choose between 30, 45 or the full 60 minute flights that take you sightseeing all over Perth. And there are a couple of other surprises in store too. Book yourself in and you'll get to take to the skies in one of these, a 1940s de Havilland Tiger Moth, one of the models that was used in the Second World War to train pilots. And the best part is, if you're a little bit nervous, like me, you can choose a flying level that suits you. flights will see you soar above Perth in a leisurely and eye-opening way. You get to see everything from a totally new perspective and because the planes have open cockpits, you really get to feel everything too. Depending on the flight you choose, the pilot will take you up the coast to Scarborough and then cruise back down to Coburn Sound, all the while letting you soak in the amazing ocean colours, Rottnest, Garden Island and Perth City itself. If you're game and you want to add a little bit of excitement, you can ask the pilot to do a few barrels and loops. But be warned, this is not for the faint-hearted. If you choose the acrobatics, you're probably going to sound a bit like this. with you, then you should definitely try the formation flying with two separate planes. Both of you will go up in your own Tiger Moth and be part of tandem air manoeuvres, making your flight that much more unique and personal. It's just you two and the sky. Whew. 
Not sure why I bothered doing my hair for that one. Now, tiger moths used to be used as training and crop dusting planes, and many people consider them an icon of the past. But that flight was honestly one of the most amazing things I've ever done. It's a huge adrenaline rush, and I can't believe I haven't actually done that before. And it certainly beats sitting on the couch and watching a notebook on TV. If you want to book a flight for yourself or grab someone a gift voucher, then head to zoomtv.com.au and follow the links to the Royal Aero Club of WA. Coming up after the break, we catch up with this week's Asanda celebrity hitchhiker. You've already met him, Tim Coleman from Australia's Got Talent. We're going to find out exactly how he learned how to do this crazy stuff. Now, if you'd like to hire Tim and have him along for an event, make sure you go to his website, tctricks.com. That's tricks with a Z. Or follow the links from Zoom TV. You never know, might even ask him how to do a wheelie. That's next on Zoom TV. Do you own something incredible that drives, flies or floats? Then we want to hear about it and maybe even have you on the show. All you have to do is film a short video under two minutes long about your car, your motorbike, your four-wheel drive, your boat or your plane and tell us just what makes it so great. Then upload your video to YouTube and email the link to imazoomaholic at zoomtv.com.au. You and your car could feature on the show all around Australia. Plus, if you're the member of a motoring enthusiast club and you've got an event coming up, let us know about it and you never know, we might come along. Welcome back to Zoom TV. I'm now with this week's Asanda Celebrity Hitchhiker. You've seen him at the start of the show, you've seen him during the show as I've improved his tricks and taught him off camera. How to do special tricks, Mr. Tim Coleman. How are you, sir? Yeah, good, thanks. Mate, thanks very much for having us here at the uh, Oakley Motorcycle Club. This is your club, isn't it? Yeah, this is my club I ride for. I don't get down here very often, but when I do, it's just, it's got so many more options, it's great. Now, Tim, I'm guessing you had a, a motorbike as a kid, but where did the trial side and the, I suppose, the trick side start? Well, yeah, basically had a bike since I was a kid and got my first trials bike and competed all over Australia and Europe and I'm still competing in trials don't get me wrong I'm um, going overseas in uh, a couple of months to ride and and now I'm just focusing on new tricks because I just love it it's my passion now just performing and um, entertaining so it's great. Now if someone was at home and they wanted to follow in your shoes and get involved in the sport what would they do? Starting off is just get on the internet and even get on the Oakley Motorcycle Club and just check when the next event is and Come out, check it out, and ask people about the bike, and you can get the bikes online. And okay, and what kind of skills would they need to have to actually know that they'd be successful in it? Well, that's a hard one. Like basically, throttle control and clutch control is a good start. Progress every time you ride. Like you start on small things, and you'll slowly notice you're getting better every time you get out on the bike. So what you've done, Tim, is you've evolved the sport of trials into doing tricks and stuff like that. I mean, what I've seen you do today, you've gone over large tyres, you've gone up crates, you've gone along logs, you've gone over boulders. Pretty much any complicated thing that you came up to, I'm thinking, he's not going to do this, and you did it. It's incredible to watch. That's it. Pretty much the world's your playground on trolls bikes, so you can ride over anything, really. <laughs> now, people out there would be familiar with people doing backflips on a motocross bike. What I witnessed today was you do a backflip in a small area, you didn't get very high, you just got it up and flipped it really quick. Yeah, that's the thing, like they're so light, these bikes, it still takes a lot of skill to throw them around so quick, you just shut your eyes and hope for the best. <laughs> <laughs> when did you get to the stage where you thought, okay, I can flip this thing? <laughs> it's funny, like the first time I did it, I wasn't into a foam pit, like everyone usually practices into a foam pit, but I just went out at home and straight out of the creek, up a bank and just leant back, closed my eyes and Somehow I made it around. Crazy, crazy. That's exactly how I would have done it. <laughs> now, Tim, it's time for the Asanda Fast Five. Are you ready? Yep. OK, this is where it gets hard. What was the first car you ever owned? First car I ever owned was a, yeah, Toyota Hilux single cab, and it was a, it was a bucket. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's first car should be a bucket, but you've got the Hilux. You're a country guy. You've got the country car. Well, that's it. What is your opinion of the best car ever made? What car do you drive past and go, I want that car? Oh, well, I always love the American-style cars, the big F-trucks, like the Ford Raptors, and I'll just love one one day. <laughs> you got to get yourself one of them. What is your opinion of the worst car ever made? Now, I'm dying to hear this because you're a country boy. What do the country guys hate? Well, uh, I'm thinking 
Holden Rodeo only because it's so rough out in the paddocks. Ooh, so there you go, <laughs> back in the Holdens, go the Holdens. And what do you currently drive now? Uh, Mercedes Vito, yeah, I love it. I love it. You start uh, you start with the Toyota, you bag out the Holdens, and now you're driving the Mercedes. Look at you. All class. Great Australian country lad. <laughs> love it. Now, uh, the last question, this is the biggest one. What is your biggest fear? Um, probably snakes, yeah. Well, I well, my brothers, I hate them as well. <laughs> yeah, I can't stand them. Yeah, yeah, I can't stand them. I, um, I don't like anything I can't see coming. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> now, Tim, thanks very much. You've been a sport. Now, if you'd like to get Tim to an event, make sure you go to his website, tctrickswithaz.com, and get him out there or follow the links from Zoom TV, of course. Now, it's time for me to teach you some tricks. I'm borrowing your bike and your helmet. Sounds good. Let's do it. Thanks, Tim. Cheers. And we're done, people. Thank you very much to the Oakley Motorcycle Club for allowing us to use their facilities and introduce you to Mr. Tim Coleman. If you'd like to know more about today's show, go to our website, zoomtv.com.au. Now, if you belong to a club and you've got an event coming up, make sure you click on the Events tab, submit it. We'll give it a plug. We might even attend. And if you've got something cool that flies, drives or floats, we want to know about it. Make a video between one and two minutes long, upload it to YouTube, then send the link to IamAZoomaholic at zoomtv.com.au. Now remember, whatever you do that zooms, make sure you do it safe. <laughs> Unless you're Mr. Tim Coleman. Now Tim, let me show you how to do a double backflip, buddy. Just lend me your bike. And that's a wrap.